Hi there, and welcome to this video about Solid Thinking Inspire. Today we're going to take a look at topology optimization, which is a tool which is used very early in the design phase and can be used to generate design ideas from just a design space and boundary conditions. So it's a very mighty tool and it's not that hard to implement. So let's get into it. I have Inspire opened up and already a CAD file imported. So the first thing we want to define is our design space. It is where the solver can put material at all. And we, have, we start from a conventional design, which is a milled part. And you see those holes in here, those bigger ones. Um, those are used to save materials, to, to save weight. But for a topology optimization, it also means that there's no design space in here. In order to uh, enable the solver to put material in the space between those holes, we have to fill them up. And we do that with the simplify button and then select holes. And then deselect the original selection and double click on the bottom of each hole. Now you can see that the hole is selected and you can do a confirmation click to fill up the hole. We do that several times more. Uh, that was not quite right. Can always undo it with Control C. Sorry about that. All right, now we have the holes filled. The next thing we want to do is for design space. We could say that this all is our design space, but we have some loads and boundary conditions. Um, from the functional point of view, you have those six holes at the bottom, and there the, the part is screwed at a platform. And then we have this bigger hole right over here, which is used for load loading in, in two directions, for example. Now the problem is that if we just implement the boundary conditions at loads and say go for it, it will remove also material around the holes. So we cannot insert a joint or a bolt anymore. In order to prevent this from happening, we can partition the design space and practically remove material from the optimization, from the design space around the holes to be not included as an design space volume. How to do that? We have a partition button over here. Deselect um, the initial selection. And now, for example, this hole, just click it once more. And you have the option to change this, but we go with the defaults right over here. Partition this hole, and then we have that one. And this one. And two more. And also the hole for the loading. It's also partitioned. And now you can see that we can select just this part, which is called mill part over here, and assign it to be a design space for the optimization. You can also recognize it by the different color it now has after having this design space assigned to it. And now we can begin with the boundary conditions and loadings. So the boundary conditions and loads can be found on the structure and we want to create some fasteners. Um, you can now select the type of fastener you want, for example, a grounded bolt. And you can select the hole and just click once more to create the fastener and do that with all the holes right over here and over here. And two holes more. All right, and those are the fasteners. And now we have this hole for a force. Maybe we want to do a single force. You could can say be careful with the multi multi um, 
multi button icons over here you can see there's a pressure over here single point force over here torque and uh, boundary conditions so we uh, select the sim single point force and select um, the hole for the loading and for example we want to apply 4000 newtons in the c direction and we um, hit the right click button for a confirmation and now you can see we have load case one defined already we want to add another load case and we just copy that one with Control c and Control v to insert it and now you can see we have a load case two just quickly rename that and we remove the force ah we do that later but we just a apply a different loading a different different force on the hole, in this case, for example, 2000 newtons in y direction, and also apply it with the right click. And now you can see that it has been selected to load case one. And the reason why I want to do that afterwards is you have this list load cases button over here, and there you can easily change the forces where they happen. So, for example, Force 1 is now active in load, load case 1, and force 2 is active in load case 2. But if I hit here delete, I think uh, delete force 1 here, it also gets deleted here. So be careful about that. Alright, now we have uh, boundary conditions um, set already. So we could now analyze the part. But one thing we want to do for the topology optimization is to apply some shape controls. And in this case, it would be quite good if we have a symmetry constraint around this plane so y-axis as a normal for the plane over here so this cut over here and we do that by just simply clicking on shape controls choose symmetric um, click on the part now you can see the red faces are the active ones so we deselect the ones we don't want and we have this one and we confirm that with a right click and that's about it for the shape controls. And as a last step, we want to run the optimization. So we have here the optimize button. Click once here. And now we can say this may be our initial topology. And we can choose the volume frag. So this is, is the, the, percent, the percentage of material from the original volume the solver wants to use in a final design so it's for example start with a lower one 10 percent and we also can say a thickness constraint maybe we want uh, some small structures to be constrained um, so the minimum now for the structures would be 0 0.004 and that's about it for this one now I run that and I will, it will take some time to finish and welcome back. Now the topology optimization finished so we can click here and view now or click on this little green flag over here and see the results. So if you are interested in seeing more detailed output, um, Solid Thinking Inspire saves this. Um, and all the iteration process to a specific folder. If you save it, I think it's in the folder location where the save file is. But if not, there's a folder in your documents named Solid Thinking, and there's your um, optimization. So all runs are saved in here. And for example, you could go into the out file and scroll down and see how many iterations it took. So it converged. And you have the change in in the, the objective function, which is minimize weighted compliance. For example, here a small change at the end, which all, uh, always says that it is converging. And you can scroll through there and get some more detailed information. But back to the optimization results, you can see this little slider over here. So the optimization result is pretty... Um, pretty big, so it took about four hours, I guess. And so I don't know if it's maybe it takes a while to see the overall structure, but you can guess it already. So it is 
like a uh, massive surface part at the middle with more a beam like structure at the end and we already can um, tell that we may have to do several optimization runs for example with another volume frag constraint for example um, or different boundary conditions if you want to change those two um, yeah that being said that's about it for this video I hope you liked it if you have some more questions about optimization setup feel free to ask leave a comment or a like I would appreciate that and yeah thanks for watching